It is now time to download your copy of KiCad and install it on your computer. KiCad has support for a variety of operating systems. Uh, the major operating systems, Mac OS and Windows uh, are supported. Of course, there is support for Ubuntu and a lot of different flavors of Linux. I have tested and I frequently use KiCad on Mac OS. This is my primary operating system, but I'm also doing work on Windows and Kubuntu instead of uh, Ubuntu. Kubuntu, if you're not familiar with it, is like Ubuntu, but it uses the KDE desktop. Um, and I find that a um, much better experience than uh, Ubuntu's uh, weird user interface, but it's just personal preference. So uh, I'm not going to show you how to install KiCad on each one of those operating systems. KiCad 6 installer is very well refined over the years, and you'll find that uh, KiCad installs on these operating systems just like any other refined application on the same operating system. So in Windows, for example, go into Windows, download the stable version of uh, KiCad, you get an installer application, you can double click on it and start uh, following the instructions from the wizard itself to complete the installation on your computer. I find myself that I am often downloading and playing around with the nightly development builds, which will take you to this directory right here. This is Windows Nightly. And if you want to look at the cutting edge version of KiCad, then you can go to the nightly releases and um, have a look at the latest and greatest available uh, release. So for me, I'm recording this on the 2nd of August 2021. And the latest available nightly release is this file here, an executable installer. Similarly, if you're working on macOS, go to the macOS page, uh, download the latest available release. When I'm recording this, the latest stable release for KiCad is 5.1.10. Uh, KiCad 6 at this time is coming and I am using KiCad 6 using the nightly available version. So any nightly available version, the latest one for the Mac OS is uh, dated August 1, 2021. It's a regular DMG file that Mac applications are often distributed as and you can get it from here. Now for Mac OS in particular, just notice that the file that you download is the KiCad unified file, which contains everything. That's the KiCad suite and all of its applications, meaning uh, all of the Windows, uh, meaning all of the KiCad applications that you see right here, uh, as well as documentation uh, there and the libraries for the schematic symbols, the footprints and the templates, as well as the demos. Pretty much everything is included. And uh, finally, for Ubuntu, uh, there are instructions here on how to set up Ubuntu to download and install KiCad from the apt repository and just follow these instructions here. Um, for nightly development builds, uh, there's a slightly different set of instructions because the repository is slightly different. So you just uh, follow these instructions here and you'll be okay. There are similar instructions for the various other operating systems like uh, SUSE, for example. As you know, KiCad is open source software, so you also have the option to download the source code and then build from source on your operating system. This is not something that I normally do unless I want to play around with it and experiment. Uh, luckily, the operating systems that I use all have very good binary builds. So I never had the need to actually build my own KiCad instance from source. But if you are someone who enjoys doing that, then just go to this page here, install from source code. And there are detailed instructions on how to do that. Just go to building KiCad from source. And there's your instructions. So at this point, I invite you to download the version of KiCad 
that is suitable for your operating system and actually install KiCad on your computer. Once you finish installing KiCad, verify that it's up and running by starting KiCad. On the Mac, for example, I'll bring up Spotlight and type in KiCad and that will give me KiCad as an option here. Hit enter and then KiCad will start. So regardless of which operating system you're using, install KiCad and start it. Make sure that it's all up and running before you go over to the next lecture and the next uh, sections, uh, of course. In the next lecture, we're going to use your brand new instance of KiCad to take a look at one of the demo projects that ship with KiCad and it's available on its source code right here. So take a bit of time. Do this now and come back to the next lecture when you're ready.